Topic number five, X-ray methods in surgery, X-ray diagnostics of diseases of the chest. Lecturer Shevchenko Alexander, Baltic Federal University Medical Institute, Kaliningrad, 2020. Before we talk about uh, chest ray uh, methods of visualization, we must understand there are lots of it, and uh, all they have their indication and contraindication. For example, contraindication, if we can, if we want to do a CT scan with contrast, can be allergy for the iodine, because a lot of contrast based on iodine compounds. So, methods of visualization, visualization of the chest, uh, X-ray, uh, I write down these names in Russian, so when you go to the hospital, you uh, will not be confused by the names of these methods in Russian, okay? Uh, I think you can use it a lot in your practice while you study in Russia. Scintigraphy or gamma scan, PET scan, positron emission tomography, SPECT or single photon emission computer tomography, CT, uh, well-known computer tomography, MRI, magnetic resonance imaging and ultrasound. This is the first uh, film made by X-ray. This is uh, made, made by Konrad Reundgen. Uh, he was German, and here we see on this film picture of the hand of his wife. He scribed here hand mit Ringen, which means in German hand with ring. So here we see the phalanx of the fingers of the left hand. This is dense structure. This is not a tumor, this is ring. Uh, you must remember that all X-ray, uh, what you see, it's negatives. So if we see uh, dense, dark structure, we call it shadowing. Since the body is made up of various substances with different, different densities, ionizing and non-ionizing radiation can be used to review the internal structure of the body. On an image receptor by highlighting these differences using attenuation. Or in the case of ionizing radiation, the absorption of X-ray photons by the denser substances like calcium-rich bones. The discipline involving the study of anatomy through the use of calcium uh, of radiographic images is known as radiographic anatomy. Medical radiography acquisition is generally carried out by radiographers, while image analysis is generally done by radiologists. Some radiographers are specializing in image interpretation. Medical radiography includes a range of modalities producing many different types of image, each of which has a different clinical application. Scintigraphy or gamma scan. Another known as gamma scan is diagnostic test in nuclear medicine where radioisotopes attached to drugs that travel to a specific organ uh, or tissue, radiopharmaceuticals, and taken internally and the emitted gamma radiation is captured by external detectors, gamma cameras, to form two-dimensional images in a similar process to the capture of X-ray images. Here on this uh, scintigraphy film we can see the kidneys, so we can imagine that this person injected some substance or compound which uh, specifically taken by the kidneys and we can expect, expect that this test allow us to uh, assess excretory function of the kidney because some part of this, sub, uh, of this compound we can see in the urine bladder. Next method of visualization is positron emission tomography or short PET. 
is a nuclear medicine functional imaging technique that is used to observe metabolic processes in the body as an aid to the diagnostic of disease. The system detects pairs of gamma rays emitted indirectly by a positron emitting radioligand, most commonly fluorine 18, which is introduced into the body on a biological active molecule called a radioactive tracer. Different ligands are used for different imaging purposes. Depending on what the radiologist researcher wants to detect, three-dimensional images of tracer concentration within the body are then constructed by computer analysis. In modern PET computer tomography scanner, three-dimensional imaging is often accomplished with the aid of a computer tomography X-ray scan performed on the patient during the same session in the same machine. Here we have PET scan. What we can say about this? On this plane structure, we see the structures of the brain. Uh, maybe in the kidney or adrenal gland and the urine, in, in the urine bladder and in the urea. But most interesting in this uh, picture, we have uh, some tumor here. We don't know on this plane structure. This is tumor of the lung or the memory gland. But if we have axial film, we can understand that is a memory gland. This is dense structure that collects this compound. Maybe this is uh, belongs to metastasis, but when we see uh, this picture, we can say this is this uh, uh, about this this that compound is excreted by the kidney that is why we can see a lot of this compound in the urine bladder and some in the urethra okay so we can say we have memory gland tumor on this pet scan picture Single photon emission computer tomography or SPECT is similar to PET in its use of radioactive tracer material and detection of gamma rays. In contrast with PET, that tracers used in SPECT emit gamma radiation that is measured directly. Various PET tracers emit positrons that annihilate with electrons up to a few millimeters away, causing two gamma photons to be emitted in opposite directions. A PET scanner detects these emissions coincident in time, which provides more radiation event localization information and thus higher spatial resolution imaging that SPECT, which has about 1 cm resolution. SPECT scans are significantly less expensive than PET scans, in part because they are able to use longer lived and more easily obtained radioisotopes than PET. We have more complex technology, SPECT uh, tech. SPECT, this is single photon emission computer tomography, and TECH means CT. So, how are we doing this? This is how SPECT tech system works. First, we inject some uh, contrast or radioisotope to the person. Patient. Second, uh, the spent spect takes 3D images of the distribution of the radiopharmaceutical in the study organ. And third, the tech takes 3D images of the patient's anatomy. So we have high resolution image, uh, which was covered by the um, computer and the union spec image and the tech allows joint assessment of function and anatomy in 3D scan. Here we can see how it looks like on pictures. It's high resolution of images. Computer tomography or CT scan using ionizing radiation. X-ray radiation, a conjunction with the computer to create images of both soft and hard tissues. This image looks as though the patient was sliced like bread, thus tomography tomo means slice. 
those CTs scan uh, used a higher amount of ionizing X-ray radiation than diagnostic X-rays, both utilizing X-ray radiation. With advances in technology, levels of CT radiation dose and scan times have reduced. CT exams are generally short, most lasting only as long as a breath hold. Contrast agents are also often used, depending on the tissues needing to be seen. Radiographers perform this examination sometimes in conjunction with a radiologist, for instance when a radiologist performs a CT-guided biopsy. So here I have a picture for you, for example, of CT scan of the lungs. It's native picture without contrast. Uh, we have lungs. You must uh, remember then right one have three lobes and left one have two lobes. And we have primary tumor on this scan. So here we, here we have tumor. And uh, how we can understand its upper lobe or lower lobe of the left lung. It's very easy to understand here because we have oblique fissure on this picture and all would have the lower than oblique fissure, its lower lobe. And all what we see higher than, than oblique fissure, its uh, upper lobe. To understand where we have uh, front and back, we can see this is vertebra and this is mm, 